Let's work, come on. That's it, 20 seconds. That's it, nice and tight. Let's go, let him go now, let him go. Let him go, let him go. 15 seconds. That's it, let him go. Let's go, let's go. That's it, 10 seconds, let's go. Work. Work, 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 work. Five seconds, let's go, win the fight. Ah. Yes, yes. Time, good. One week till it's over for you, AT. Woo! One, two, and roll. That's it. That's it, good. I know for a fact that everyone thinks Anthony Taylor's gonna win and he's the favorite. I know for a fact and even the people that are friendly to us, you know, and trying to be friends with us and trying to be friendly and say, you know, yeah, Kenny this, Kenny that. I, I don't believe it, I see straight through it. They all think Anthony Taylor's gonna win, but in life you need challenges. There's no point not challenge yourself in life. We took the fight because obviously we know what's what, you know what I mean? I've already taken the hard challenges from the start. I feel like I've already been prepared for this mentally, physically. You know, my second fight was against one of the dangerous punches in the scene, Face Sensei. You know, he's, he knocks people out, bro. And when he rocked me, I was still able to hold my own, you know, finish the fight. Um, yes, it was a controversial win, but I still won. And you know, Anthony Taylor, he's still a threat, you know. Uh, he's, he's knocked people down, but he's going on about knocking me out here and knocking me out this when he's never knocked anyone out. So let's be honest, stop lying to the people. You're not going to knock me out, but he is a threat because he's got some power. I'll give him that. And he's got the experience. He is the favorite, yeah, because obviously he comes from, you know, a pro background, ex-pro. It's not in boxing though, but ex-pro in MMA, but even in MMA, he wasn't the greatest in that, so. He's only really picked up boxing a few years now, so he's been boxing since the Tommy Fury fight. But even then, for how long he's been doing it, he doesn't look great. That's why you know we're confident in taking this fight. It's up to Kenny to go in there and do a job and um, show people what dedication look, looks like, you know, someone that's disciplined that hasn't boxed before. From two years ago, he never knew anything about boxing. So for me, not just as his coach, as me on the outside, I, like, I respect him a lot, man. Like the things that he's done and how he's dedicated himself. There's people that I personally know that are pro fighters that don't show the de level of dedication that he does. <laughs> Obviously, on paper, people would say, oh, because he beat Ashley, he should, you know, he should beat me. But, you know, that Ashley fight, it wasn't my night. There's a lot of reasons. I don't even get into detail yeah. as to why I was, I performed that way that night. End of the day, I lost. And I know I could have won that night. I just didn't throw enough. Um, I'm confident in my skill to beat Anthony Taylor. Obviously, you guys have seen, I wasn't the same fighter um, from when I fought Ashley Raksu to when I fought Winderson. So there's, there's a reason for that. What went wrong in the Raksu fight is just experience. As I keep saying, these, are amateur, these ain't even amateur boxers. Amateur boxers have more experience than influencer boxers. You've got amateur boxers that have over 70 amateur fights, then they turn professional. These guys are coming from no experience, jumping in a fight with 10 ounce gloves, no head guards in front of thousands of people around the world and expected to be like, fight like Mike Tyson or like Floyd Mayweather. It doesn't work like that. A very tough camp, but that's why camp is tough to make the fight look easy. Six days a week, two to three hours a day, do some recovery, yeah, mix and match it. But yeah, six days a week without fail. Run. 
working harder than Anthony Taylor. Hundred percent. He's probably out there drinking in a nightclub as we speak. Imagine that's imagine that's him control the bag when it comes forward. That's it. There we go. Which influencer has he fought? So he's fought Ashley Raksu. Raksu was fresh. Uh, he didn't really have um, a good game plan with Anthony Taylor. Obviously, immediately when Man Anthony rocked him, he went on defense mode. He didn't even, you know, try to really push it on him. Salt Papi. When I watched the fight, Salt Papi, there was no volume. He wasn't setting things up. I think I remember even, I, I don't even think I remember him even throwing a jab. He was always relying on, you know, his straight left. So obviously Anthony saw that, you know, and used that to his advantage. And that's essentially why, you know, Anthony won. I just think he's had the better game plans than the influences he's fought. Every fight on this card is a banger. Um, but yeah, uh, I can't, I can't wait. Are you going to have a, a close eye on Salt Papi Slim? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I did the face of Anthony and I realised, I think he said I'm seven or eight, so I have to, like, when I beat him, then I'll be fighting Slim or Salt, something like that, to get higher up in the pound for pound list. Good. That's it, nice and compact, nice and tight when you're on the inside. Don't let anything in. He's, he's very uh, entertaining in the lead up to the fight. And with me, I don't, I don't really rehearse stuff. I kind of find it cringe. I just flow, you know. On fight week, I might see something. I'm, I might be like, oh, I might use that for the press or the face-to-face. -face. I just like to freestyle just how I'm feeling on the day or how I'm feeling on the week. But for me, what's very important is getting the win on fight night. That's where a lot of my energy goes into, training. What's the prediction? If it's not points, I'll stop him. I'll say fourth round. <laughs>